I want to be able to get better insights into how people are using my app and I'll show you how I'm going to do that and how you can do it for your own Apple game in the next two minutes. So my app has two main menu options. The first takes you through a testing section where I've set up three tests and at the end of each test I've placed my interstitial video ads. The next is just a reference section with no ads. And I've noticed from my Unity Analytics that I can have people use my app for hours in a day but not trigger a single ad. So I need to figure out what they're doing and what's going on. Even though it was really hard for me to find this information, the solution is pretty simple. On each of my buttons, I'm going to add a new component called Analytics Event Tracker. And this will let me set up a custom analytical action that I can track on my Unity dashboard. Because I'm using the Unity UI, I'm going to pick the UI option for when the event needs to be tracked. And I also need to give the custom event a name. So this one I'll call Tables Button Click. And because I'm using a button, all I need to do is add a new on-click event to the button. I drag and drop the Analytics component script up to the new on-click event. And in the drop-down menu, I select the Analytic Event Tracker Trigger Event component. Now we're going to need to check if it works. So I'll hit the play button on my app and click on my button, which should trigger my new custom analytical event. Next, I'm going to head on over to my Unity dashboard to see if the data is coming up. Keep in mind that it can take several hours for this data to update on the Unity dashboard and it definitely wasn't instantaneous for me. So if it's not there immediately, try again a bit later. Under the event manager section of analytics, I can see that my custom event has been identified. And if I then head into Data Explorer, I can add a new custom event to my dashboard. And there I can see that my on-click custom event has been captured. Now that I know that this is working, I'm going to go ahead and add these to several other areas of my app, like the Start Test and End Test buttons. And this way, I'll get a great view of what people are doing in my app. And that'll help me identify where I can improve it in subsequent updates. So that's where we'll leave it for today guys. If you like this video, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Smash that like button and leave a comment for anything else you'd like to see. Bye for now.